Hello, AVID students. It is so nice to see all of you. Thank you very much for joining me on our next class lecture video. I just want to remind you, class, that we have a binder check this Friday, as well as our Galileo testing on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Make sure that you get a good night's sleep, bring a headset, and get breakfast in the morning so you're prepared to do awesome on our Galileo test. The subject of this video will be on Mr. Kennedy's binder expectations. I will be going over what I expect to see during the binder checks, as well as giving you a binder tour of one of our awesome students in our class. Let us begin. These are the things that I'll be checking for in our binders. Your binder needs to be two to four inches. I'll be looking for dividers and folders that separates each of your classes. All of those dividers or folders needs to be labeled. You can label them by period or by subject, whatever is easiest for you to remember. Remember, your binder needs to have a pencil pouch inside of it where you can keep pencils, pens, highlighters, sticky notes, or any other school supplies you may need. It's very, very important that you keep your agenda in the front of your binder or the inside pouch, as well as your class schedule in the back of your binder or in the inside pouch in the back of your binder. Remember that we take Cornell notes in every class. And when I do the binder check, the Cornell notes I'll be looking for are the ones on Mr. Kennedy's classroom expectations, as well as the notes that you're taking right now on our binder check. So class, we're going to go ahead and dive into the virtual tour. And after that, we're going to go ahead and review one more time of the things that I'll be checking for in the binder check. Hello, AVID students. Welcome to your virtual binder tour. So when I check your binders, the first thing I should see is your awesome agenda. Your agenda needs to be completely filled out for you to get the 100 points. Your agenda can go to one of two places. It can be your cover sheet or it needs to be in the inside pouch of your binder. When I see open up your binder, the first thing I should see is your pencil pouch. Inside your pencil pouch, you need to have pencils, pens, highlighters, and any other supplies you may need, like sticky notes, glue sticks, scissors, and colored pencils. Remember, class, that your dividers need to be separated by classes. For example, this student has them separated by period. That is awesome. Great job. There should be no loose papers inside of your binder. Anything you get from a class needs to go in that class section. This student got their name tag and their class schedule a second copy from their homeroom. So they placed it in their homeroom section any work they got in their second period went to their second period section, third period, and so on. Remember class, that organization is one of the Wickard strategies. So it's very, very important that you have your binder extremely organized. So just to cover it one more time, your agenda needs to be in the front or in the inside pouch. Classes needed to be divided by the period or subject, I need to see a pencil pouch and there needs to be no loose papers. The two Cornell notes I'll be checking for this binder check is gonna be the ones we took on Mr. Kennedy's classroom expectations and the Cornell notes you're taking on this video. I wish you all the best on the binder check and now it's time to review on the PowerPoint. Okay, so it's time for the final review. So remember, two to four inch binder, you need dividers for each of your classes. Those dividers need to be labeled by period or subject. 
you need your awesome pencil case, make sure you have some pencils, pens, and highlighters. Your agenda, it goes in the front and your schedule goes in the back. The two Cornell notes I'll be looking for will be on Mr. Kennedy's classroom expectations and the Cornell notes that you took on this video. If you have any questions, rewind this video at any point. Thank you, and I hope to see you on the next video lecture. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.